Welcome to Georgia Classrooms Live. We gathered five exceptional Georgia teachers who are working with the English Language Arts Georgia Standards of Excellence and featured them in four segmented videos designed as a professional learning resource for building capacity for student writing. The classrooms are authentic Georgia classrooms with Georgia educators and featuring Georgia students in these productions. Featured in this video is Casey Morris, English teacher at Coffee Middle School. Watch as Casey demonstrates the role of evidence in writing. The objective is for teachers to see how the standards are embedded in the lessons and to seamlessly apply them to their own lessons. We encourage all teachers to watch these videos with peer teachers and coaches for the purpose of seeing the standards as master teachers apply lessons in the classroom. As you watch, look for the practical ideas, the effective instructional practices, and the blended performance-based curriculum. Pause at an appropriate place and discuss the segments in professional collaborative groups of peer teacher colleagues, and then set expectations to embed ideas into personalized lessons that you create. We encourage you to apply the lessons and techniques in your own classrooms and come back to your PLCs to discuss outcomes, highs and lows, and adjust the instruction to meet your own classroom purpose. Remember, it is important that you deliberately design your lessons for your students using your own resources and creativity. Teaching the Georgia Standards of Excellence is like a finely tuned Swiss watch. Teaching Georgia Standards of Excellence takes teamwork and planning. As you watch the videos with the goal of implementing in your own classroom, we encourage you to be creative. Remember to be positive. Believe in your students and know that you are building the future to give our students a strong foundation. My name is Casey Morris and I teach at Coffee Middle School and we are home to about 1,700 students. We are the largest school in the district and we have about eight feeder schools that come to us and the students that I teach have a wide range of Lexile abilities from 300 all the way to 1,500. During the Activator we decided to play a game and it was a balloon race which was not only fun for me but also fun for the students and there were four balloons per group and each group had a team captain. So I gave the team captains their balloons and they had a passage on Herschel Walker that they had previously read and the students were to sequence the pieces of paper that were in the balloons together. So on the count of three, they blew the balloons up and then they tied them and then they waited for a few minutes and then we all popped them together and they rushed to put them in the correct order. And the team that finished first was to run to the board and put it on the board so we could kind of grade it together. And the students really enjoyed it. It was fun for all of us, and it was a really exciting part of the lesson. I think it got them geared up and ready to learn. All right, good morning, everybody. So I was thinking last night, who likes a party? Me, me. All right, awesome. So I thought maybe we should bring balloons into the classroom and learn a little bit about brief constructed responses. So how many of you can tie a balloon? Team captains, I need to make sure everybody can tie a balloon. Everyone's going to get a balloon and we're going to have to put them in order, sequencing order, about how we want to write our brief constructed responses. We know that. We know how to do this because of the race method. R means? Restate. Restate. A stands for? C stands for? And E? Edit. edit and conclude. Thank you. I'm glad the twins got that for us. So edit and conclude. So each group is going to have four balloons. Everyone's responsible to number one, blow it up. Then we're going to tie it. Then we're going to wait. We're going to blow it up. What's next? Tie it. Then we're going to wait. I prefer you to hold them up in the air like this, and then we'll um, get it going. Are you ready? Yes. All right, I'm going to give you your cookie sheet. Once you get your balloons, everyone ties it. We're going to hold it up, and then we're going to wait, then we're going to have a balloon race. Is anyone really scared of balloons popping? No? Just me? Okay, Haley is. 
Okay, you are, I am too, but it's okay. We're gonna make it through. And inside the balloon is a sheet of paper and I need you guys to order them, sequence them based on the race method. Blow up your balloon, tie it, and wait. 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 Awesome. So when you finish, team captains, you're gonna put them in order. Please don't run, we might get hurt. And I want you to put place them where I had them, backwards. Why do we want them backwards? Uh, yeah, so nobody will see because we don't like people that are trying to look at our answers. Uh, somebody read our balloon race question. Ishmael, go. How does knowing about Herschel Walker's past help you understand his accomplishments? Use evidence from the text to support your answer. So your, your question is, how does knowing about Herschel Walker's past help you understand his accomplishments? So we know that question one needs to do what? Restate. It needs to answer the question, but it needs to restate. That's how you're going to know what order it's going to go in. R A C E. You have a little background knowledge about Herschel Walker already because at the beginning of the year we talked a lot about him and his accomplishments. So as a group, you're going to need to read the sentences together to know what order they go in. Work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. You ready? One. Whew. I'm nervous. Alex, are you scared? You can hold your ears. I'll hold mine too. Okay, ready? One. Two. These groups are already getting ready. Three. Okay, go. Go. <laughs> Jacob's having issues. Read them. Read your strips. Find them. Read them. Team three turn theirs in first. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to need to do is what? Restate the question. And how does knowing about Herschel Walker's past help you understand his accomplishments? Then we're going to need to use evidence from the text to support our answer. So they picked the green strip and they said Herschel Walker's past helps me understand his accomplishments because from a very young age he was self-driven and intrinsically motivated. Raise your hand if you picked that as your first answer. Then you are correct. Awesome. So perfect for the first one. The second one starts according to the passage. Is that correct? Yes. How do you automatically know that they are right? Yes. And, and they started their sentence. So we automatically know we're going to look back and find that what? Use evidence. That use evidence from the text to support our answer. Perfect. So according to the passage, what goes after that? Comma. Comma. Uh, it says, Walker began his life as an overweight boy with a severe speech impediment. In addition, Walker's mother always told him to never use that as an excuse, and he decided to begin a strict regimen of push-ups and sit-ups daily. Who has the number for how many push-ups or sit-ups Herschel Walker did? 30. Go, Josie. 3,500. 3, it's Maya. 1,300. 1, how many? Which one was sit-ups? Which one was push-ups? 1,300. And what was the moral to all that? What was the lesson that he wanted us to know from all that? Never give up. Right. Even though life gives you um, some obstacles sometimes, never give up. So our third sentence starts with a wonderful transition. It says, by the same token, Herschel even chased a train to increase his speed while running. Do you remember that little short video clip that we watched a long time ago? And that was another reason he told us to never give up. He would chase trains. And give me some other transitions that we could use as the third sentence. Next. What, Haley? In addition, after that, therefore... Anybody else? However, good. So those are great examples. And then their last sentence, they also used evidence from the text in this sentence. Our last sentence has another wonderful transition. And what's a good way to start your last sentence? Finally, Finally in conclusion. What else? To sum it all up. Anybody else? You could say in addition. Okay. Finally, it is important to know that Herschel Walker went on to become one of the football's greatest athletes and never let his past get in the way of his accomplishments. So how many of you put them in order from green, orange, pink, yellow? Raise your hand if you're green, put them in this order. That's because you all are right. So everyone give a big round of applause for team three. Woo!